Hey guys, it's me, Jago for Fresh and Skater, and I hope you had a great Christmas and I wish you a happy new year. For my part, I traveled to Angola to see my family and came back home not too long ago. So in this video, I'll be unboxing and give you my first impressions on my new skates that I got from Loco Skates, the new Igors from FR Skates. Indeed, Loco Skates and I decided to partner up for the next skate reviews and for some special episodes too. So we'll still give you our honest opinions on the gear we'll test and if you want to get the gear we use in the videos, you'll be able to get them at locoskates.com and they ship really fast. We're also working on a little surprise for you in the near future and I can't wait to finish this project. Alright, back to the skates and let's start with the unboxing and see what's new compared to the previous Igors from where they were under the brand of Seba Skates. Then we'll see what I think about them after using them for a few weeks. Let's do this. Alright, new brand, new box. Every time you buy some skates from local skates, we always give you a little something in the box. Here we have a little backpack. The Eagles used to be the flagship skates they used to make for years and also one of the most expensive freestyle skates on the market at around 700 euros. Its signature component is the carbon fiber cuff at the top. This skate is known for being very tough and extremely stiff. So stiff that some skaters had a hard time skating with them. I've had the previous model that I used for almost 2 years and I can relate to that. They were super precise, extremely responsive, but they were heavy and I wish they could have a deeper V-cut. But I've been told that this newer model is lighter, we'll check that out in a second. So the look of the boot has changed a little bit, but I'll get back to this later. As expected, these skates come in a full rocket setup that is perfect for freestyle skating. So here we have a new 45 degree strap and I hope it won't tilt weirdly like the previous model. I'm very pleased to see that they added an extra abrasive pad on the inner side of the skate. That used to be one of my concerns with the previous model. I really did my best not to scratch this area. They come with a new deluxe V3 frames but I noticed something strange. It looks like the axles are on the opposite side now, like is that a mistake while assembling the skate? I mean it makes more sense to have the balls on the inner side of the boot so it's easier for the user to tighten the wheels and all while wearing the skates. And indeed while skating I noticed that the wheels were on the opposite side for the left foot and it was too uncomfortable to use the allen key on this side so a friend helped me unscrew my axles. And after the session, I unscrewed the frames and yeah, we put the left frame under the right boot and vice versa. It's an easy fix. On the back of the skate, I can see they changed the material of the area right under the carbon cuff. I think it's to make it easier to bend while doing wheeling tricks. Okay, quickly, on the top of the skate, we can see they changed the design of the tongue, but has gotten thicker now. I was actually pleased with the previous design. I'm curious to see if it will improve the experience or not. For the wheels, we have the new Street Invaders coupled with some ILQ9 Pro bearings, but there is something I really want to test right now. If you bought your skates from Seba in 2016, you would have a hard time unscrewing your wheels for the first time. I almost broke my wrist multiple times because of that. So now I want to see if they address this issue. You can hear how surprised I was. They really made an improvement. It was easy. I've been told that these skates are going to be lighter compared to the previous model and I want to see by how much. I don't remember who told me we were supposed to be lighter, but I'm kind of disappointed. Alright, I 
After putting my feet in for the first time, we really felt familiar to me, like the previous model. It's stiff as hell, they are very reactive and the power transfer is what you would expect for this category of skates. These are rolling tanks. But I felt that there is a little bit too much material between the foot and the frames. I think this area could be improved so we can have an improved feeling and also make the whole skate lighter as well. I know it has been tough for the effort team to make big improvements after all that has happened to them but since the past two years we managed to see the technology improve for freestyle skates, especially with heat moldable integrated liners. This is a technology that is already available for skates that are cheaper than this one and I think it would be cool to see such a thing in this skate too, it would be a big plus for the customer. For those who already skated with the Igors, especially since 2K15, I think you will enjoy how they feel, especially with the addition of some features for the added comfort like the tongue, the fabric material under the cuff, plus the abrasive pad on the inner side. But yeah, but these are the Igors, extremely stiff and require some time to break in. After using almost 30 pairs of inline skates, I feel like the Igors don't really fit my feet the best, especially in the arch area, and it's causing me extreme pain. But only when I do freestyle skating and my feet move in all directions. But for general skating, it's all good. But yeah, it's my feet, it's not the skates. Although I have small and slim feet with normal arch. Eh, never mind. For freestyle skating, these skates really don't forgive. That's the type of skate where you really have to be precise on your technique in order to make something smooth. I don't think that their weight is going to be a problem. Actually, they make the ride a bit smoother, but I really wish they could make a deeper V-cut in the back. At least for the smaller sizes, please. The thing is that you have no lateral flex with the carbon cuff, which is, you know, cool. But you also don't have much forward flex either, so I feel like I'm stuck. I know there's a different model that enables you to have a greater mobility on the upper area, but I think a deeper V-cut could still have its place in this model. Just like the one you have with the highlight carbon, this V-cut is just so great. To sum up, these kits are really good, with excellent performance. The little improvements that have been brought to this model are very welcome, but the aesthetic design seems to have suffered compared to the previous model, and it would be cool to see FR skates bringing bigger changes, like a heat moldable liner, a deeper V-cut and a lighter skate. I can't wait to see what will come next. This is it for today's episode, don't forget to subscribe and please help make it getting more popular by sharing this video to your friends, you can change everything, think about it. Alright guys, see you in the next episode.